Okay, something that I've been dying to do that I haven't had a chance to yet is take the cab off. So apparently it's two bolts and then it rotates back. It's got some gas shocks that I think help with that. You know, they may be, uh, they may be dead. So I may not be able to get it up by myself. But first let's remove the bolts and uh, see how it goes. Unfortunately, I don't have a socket that's big enough for this. So I need to rotate this around so I can get a crescent wrench on the bottom. See if I can break this loose. There we go. Okay, so there we go. Okay, can't get that out. Let's go to the other side. So in theory, in your nice this rotates up, but <laughs> but it is very heavy. It did move a little. I just want to make sure I'm not getting stuck on these bolts, which I am. I just want to make sure that doesn't pop up. Try to shear my hand off. So let's try that. Oh God. It's a little heavy. I wish that I could hold this up. Oh, ha. Yeah. So, there we go. That's what the red thing's for. So anyhow, we're, <laughs> <laughs> we're suffering through this together. I just wanted to check under here and see what the condition of everything was. Yeah, it's not bad. It's just dirty. Doesn't look like there's really uh, much rust on this. Now, unfortunately, there's a lot of mud there, so I can't really see. Yeah. What's interesting is this side had a washer and the other side did not. Now I can really take a look in here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some degreaser on this, try to get it cleaned out so I can really get to see what the, the condition of the hoses are. Um, if there's any rust under here that I need to take care of. The cab, looks, the cab looks in great shape. We found some really great degreaser that seems to work very well. And I'm just gonna need to Put that on some of the stuff and let it work its magic and then hose it off. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Also gonna maybe not wear a nice shirt. So I'm gonna go change so my wife doesn't get mad at me. Okay, do I have something on my face? Why are you looking at me like that? So what I'm doing right now is I'm cleaning the, I think they call them the final drives or the line drives, I can't remember, I have to look them up, but they're the drive motors that uh, connect to the actual tracks. And there's a bunch of hydraulic lines and some uh, electronics that go into the back that I think it's position sensing. And they're just completely caked. Um, 
which is bad for a couple reasons. One is on the other side, the um, zip ties had slid off and it looked like the speed sensor wire was under some tension. So that could cause a failure as well as it doesn't allow them to cool very well when they're packed with mud and debris. So I'm just trying to get those out. It's been caked in for a while, so let's get back to it. Environmentally safe cleaning detergent um, for when we were cleaning this guy because we're doing it outside and we're doing it in a driveway. So this purple stuff is supposed to be eco-friendly, non-harmful. Eco-friendly image engine degreaser. Yeah, which seems impossible. Okay, climb back into this thing and show you a couple things that I'm looking for and I'm looking to make sure I clean. Number one is these big pivot points up here. Kind of hard to see. They're, um, they're just, that's just from being greased over and over. It kind of squishes out the back and then it really collects dirt. You can see there's, uh, it's really difficult to see, but you can see that it's, it's uh, spread out and I'm really trying to get this clean so I can see if there's any oil leaks. I've got the first coat of degreaser on it. So I spent a couple more hours degreasing and washing, degreasing and washing, and unfortunately by the time I was done, it got a little too dark to shoot video. But I promise you'll see more of this in the future. Thanks again for watching, and please remember to subscribe.